Well, 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 we are studied. We are studied. Our video. Oh, Jesus. So. Where is it? High note of our car. Oh, it's in the garbage can. Good. Yeah. Hi, Apollo Salivas and Nicole. Oh, I recognize you. Hello. Do you remember me? Yes, I remember you. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Is it your child? No, it's not. Is it your boy? No, uh, <laughs> brother? I don't know. I just know it's not hers. Oh, by the way, Nicole, where are you from? The United States. Wow, what state? Um, Oregon. Oregon. Oh, I know. It is like a app for computer. Origin. Mm. Isn't it? I'm not sure. But right now I'm living in Washington. Oh, Washington. What what's the most interesting thing I can see in Washington? If I like culture? If you like culture, you can go to Seattle. It's pretty diverse. Oh, okay. <laughs> and thanks. You could go hiking. There's a lot of places to go hiking. Hiking is process of climbing to something or it is walking on the forest, isn't it? It could be either or. Oh, thanks. And uh, how many times did you hike? Um, too many to count. Too many to count on our fingers? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. How many fingers do you have? <laughs> mm, eight plus two thumbs. What the <laughs> hell is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I wish I knew. I wish I could tell you. Are you are you flirting with this thirteen year old little boy? <laughs> you know it. I'm twenty one. Yeah, get it right. Shit, really? Holy shit! I can show you my passport. I'm Russian and I'm young. Russian, eh? <laughs> yes. Я могу говорить вот так вот, but you will not understand me. Must be Russian. Okay. I mean, the name is Igor, so that kind of leads me to believe he's Russian, but... This guy's a fake. He's not Russian. Phony. It is British. recording. Oh. Nicola, what do you do every day? Um, I don't, I mean, every single day? <laughs> what do I do? Like, what do you mean, what do I do for work? Or like, what? What do you do in free time? Mm, exercise, hang out on the internet, um, go hiking, go camping, go fishing. Go shopping. Are you a scout? I don't know what that means. Scout. What's a scout. Like a scout? Like an army scout? Yes. Or a tiger scout. A hiking scout. scout. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I, I, I have stereotyped that uh, every single person in America is scout or was scout in uh, his or her childhood. Oh, like a Girl Scout? Yes. No, I was never a Girl Scout. But Girl Scout cookies are delicious. Delicious? Delicious is yeah. ad adjective for foods? It means it tastes good. Tastes good. Ah, okay. Thanks. 
I'm sorry for my not good knowledge of English, but uh, I can ask some questions sometimes. I can't speak your language, so... Oh, okay. Oh, one more boy. That's my boy. Huh? <laughs> That's your boy? <laughs> what the fuck? He's <laughs> my nephew. Is, is Igor the father of your nephew? <laughs> <laughs> Not related, no. What? You're not wait, a dog. What's that one guy on Superbad? Oh wait, uh, it's uh, Michael Sarah. Has anyone told you that you look like Michael Sarah? Not being mean, he's actually he's a he's a cute, handsome gentleman. Who is Michael Sarah? You, uh, Michael Sarah. Google Michael Sarah. Olive cuddles children. I cuddle dogs. Is that sad? He pulls my <laughs> hair. I pull it right back. <laughs> Do I feel bad for you, or that's a good I thing? Don't know. Pull her hair out. Rip her hair out. Hello, cry man. I mean, I am surrounded by children five days a week. So. Oh, doggy. Poop it, pop it. Yeah, how do, you say, how do you say dachshund in Russian? Sabaka. No, what? Say it again. Sabaka. Sobaka. Sobaka. Yes, exactly. Sobaka. Hey, um, Igor, uh, what do Russians think about uh, Turkish folk? Merhaba, nasılsın? Çökeyim. Like, Turkish? It is Turkish, yes, uh, it is Turkish language. And wow. uh, what uh, Russian people think about Turkish? Uh, that uh, every single person from Turkish wants to... M every single single male person in Turkish wants to marry a Russian girl. It is stereotype. Why, why is that? I don't know, maybe because uh, Russian girls... Uh, uh, sorry, I am tolerate, but... Uh, I have tolerance, but uh, some people think that uh, mm -hmm. Rus Russian girl much more beautiful than uh, Turkish girls. Why do you think that is? Uh, excuse me, can you repeat? Why do you think that is? Why? Because... Uh, the combo's like, look at the dog. He calms down, but he's like, no, this is funner. <laughs> hey, Igor, Igor, don't get distracted. His hair. Don't get distracted by the little kids. I want to hear your response. I'm curious. Go. Why? Why? Because uh, I don't know, really. It is opinion not of not of me, but my opinion. I like Turkey. I was in in the Turkey. I was in Turkey seven times. I know some phrases from Turkey. I know Elsa songs. Turkey. Wait, wait, wait. Can we can we get back to so uh, Turkish guys? Yes. Uh, would rather date Russian women. Yes, it is stereotype in Russia. Is this, why is that a stereotype? Because it's so true. But why do you think that's true? Why is that a truth, do you think? Maybe... Uh... One moment. Ponder, ponder this long and hard, Igor. <laughs> I think I know the answer, but I want to hear your answer. Maybe they want to live in Russia, and uh, to live in Russia, need to marry a girl from Russia. You think that's the? Uh, no, that's not the case. Russia, it, it, no, it's Russia. like it's like a, I don't know what is it's. Uh, it's like a green card for Russia. They don't want to get. They don't want to go to Russia. 
What the fuck's in Russia? They don't have a better economy than Turkey. I don't know about economy because I'm uh, young and I'm not so experienceful. I'll, I'll tell you. Well, I'll tell you the answer. Ready for the answer? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm all of uh, your voice. Hard facts. Hard facts. Russian women are more attractive than Turkish women. Exactly. Exactly. So you, you agree with me on that statement? Yes. Okay. All right. So now that we both agree, you tell me why they're more attractive. And be honest. Don't lie. Tell me why. We have uh, more whitish skin. Okay. So, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. And uh, why, is that bad? why is that bad to say? That's not bad to say, right? That's the truth. Yes. Yes. Well, and uh, Elsa, we have uh, what's what's the che- it's not cheeks. What's uh, the bone of the cheek? What is what is what's the name of it? You're right. Higher cheekbones, higher cheekbones. Cheekbones, yes. Uh, and in Russia, cheekbones more attractive, uh, more like a shapeful than a uh, ringful. So you're, s- whoa, what the? Okay, uh, what? <laughs> oh, hello, tea girl. Oh, hey. Uh, hi. Wait, wait, where were we in the discussion? All right. Okay, so I, I, I mean, I mean that in Russia we have less, uh, less cheeks of girls and more bones, uh, more cheekbones. Okay, I have a question. Is it more the skin tone or is it more the facial structure? Mm, I think both, but if we will th- speak about uh, 51 to 49 percent, will be more uh, maybe skin, color of skin. I I would agree. I think it's more the skin tone. Yes. So why do you think that skin tone is more sexually attractive to the opposite sex? I don't know, but I prefer to watch uh, porn video with uh, European girls uh, than with Russian <laughs> girls rather than Turkish girls. Yes, right. I agree, <laughs> and I think all Turkish girls would agree that they dislike Russians because the Russians take their men. Is that correct? Yes, you are absolutely right. That is absolutely right. So listen, so based on your your logic trail that we're climbing together, why would you presume Russian skin tone is more attractive to Turkish men? Because Russian skin tone more whitish first. Right. Why, Why do you think white, whiter skin tone makes guys more attracted to the skin tone. I don't know, but I prefer more... Uh... Listen, I know what you prefer. I know what I prefer. I know what all yes, fucking... Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, 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 okay. They all prefer whiter skin tone. Why do you think that it's natural as a male to be more attracted to a whiter skin tone? Maybe because uh, sperma has uh, white color. What? <laughs> Listen, so when you see a female, right? When you see a female, right? You're yes. more attracted to a female body shape wise with a, a curvature, like a curvy female, right? Yes. With a wider waist because why? Because she probably can carry a kid better than someone who's a fucking frail twig. So you're naturally attracted to that. So why do you think a whole fucking ethnicity, not even just Turkish and Russian, but African-American, African-American males going away from black African females towards white women, which is a higher statistic. Why do you think that is? 
why we don't prefer to tweak shape but prefer more why curved do all males in every ethnicity go away from the darker skin tone to the lighter skin tone why do you think that's a natural phenomena of all men throughout <laughs> all ethnicities to go against their darker race and want to reproduce with the whiter race maybe because adam and eva was uh, white uh, people and uh, all 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 what's looked like not adam and eva and eva it will be if eva if i i don't know how to say it and Listen, yes when guys when guys see females and they want to reproduce with a female what naturally do they want it what naturally do they find attractive big tits nice butt right is that correct i no. prefer more uh, face uh, things but uh, yes i prefer a nice personality no that's, that's not... but i'm just saying why do you think all ethnicities prefer whiter skin tone and answer me this that's my final question please enlighten me Go. why white uh, why uh, white color why, yes why is a lighter skin tone more attractive because it's shiny on the sun listen i know you're trolling but come <laughs> no, on. no 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 it, it's physics I, I think I think you know, but you don't want to say because it, it's not politically correct. Politically correctful, I I I didn't say word with n word. Listen, I started with n letter. Why do all Turkish guys want Russian women? Why is that a stereotype? Why do all black guys? not prefer to date black women and go for white girls why is that a stereotype thought experiment go answer go where is mommy what's your answer to that though seriously Can, what's your answer can you repeat this again i want you to seem like a really smart guy i just want to hear your, your fucking answer to the question please why uh, your question is uh, i uh, understood correct right your question is why do listen it's a fact that all fucking turkish guys prefer russian women all turkish women hate russian women they're jealous of russian women because they're more attractive i'm asking you why are they more attractive because why because white color and uh okay white color why is white color more attractive go because white color is shiny on uh, the sun we have sun and uh, black or blackish colors is uh, how to say it's uh, in collecting collecting sun but uh, wh white color of skin will reject it to another point uh, to another thing and the more whitish color the more sun energy will be <laughs> reflected listen you're you're pivoting you're explaining <laughs> why people have a white pigment i understand the science between why a person is white i fucking get that but i'm asking you based on darwinism and sexual repro reproductivity why is like white tr attractive to all ethnicities one person on the chat room t girl wrote because uh, attraction is subjective say just say it say the fucking answer what do you prefer to uh, hear from me? I want to hear the truth, but I think you're fucking you're you're <laughs> pivoting around it and you're scared to say it. <laughs> I'm like a peeps from Harry Potter saga. <laughs> but really, just answer the question. Can you just give me some type of answer? <laughs> you don't have an answer, but I think you do have an answer. <laughs> 
I, 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 I can't say answer on Russian language either. Listen, why do all Turkish guys want to have Russian women? Why are they physically... Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. One of the... I have one thought. Because Russian warriors won Turkish-Russian war. Maybe this is one of the reasons. And the more stronger you are in the past, the more attractive you are, maybe. That's a great fucking theory. So they <laughs> won the war. Darwinism, survival of the fittest. They survived. They dominated the Turks. Would you say they're like maybe superior in that regard? Yes, it is. You would say they're superior. So you think that ethnicity is superior to another ethnicity? <laughs> I think that uh, all ethnicity races are equal. Wait, no, no, no. You, that, that just contradicted your previous statement. How are they equal if <laughs> one race is physically stronger and dominated another? So you, you are Plato. What? <laughs> you are Plato is philosopher. <laughs> Greece. But Plato, Plato. You're not, you're not thinking through what you're saying. So how, how can they be equal when one just dominated the other? That doesn't make sense. So would, would you say maybe they're superior in that regard? Because you're physically stronger? I'm not stronger. I have uh, not big bicep, tricep. Who cares? Who cares? But would you say the Russians are maybe superior to the Turks? Mm. No, I don't think so. You just said they're physically stronger. So if they're physically stronger, they have an attribute that makes them a bit better, right? If uh, somebody is stronger than somebody else, it means that he will be more attractive maybe because of the force so they're physically stronger would you say they're better no, not not in uh, not in now better? not in nowadays but uh, it is experience of the past and uh, inside co cons co can, how to say it inside of our mind? Uh, mind consequence. Uh, cons. This word. Uh, I I don't know what's the word. Inside of our mind, we think like uh, some somebody who. Ah, Jesus! I don't know how to say it. We have experience of the past, maybe. And uh, one moment, I will translate this word. What just happened? Subconsciously. Subconsciously, from experience of the past, we think that somebody else, somebody is attractive, more attractive. Huh? Did you understand? From experiences from the past. Yes, like a wars. Like a. Because uh, we have more Russian with population number. Okay, let's go to another chat room. <clears throat> Coffee pot. Oh, nobody's here. Okay, love directory.
Like, I used to be really ch You want to see a picture of me in high school? Let oh, me I will go phone. to this. I have no fucking muscles. Yo, let me show you a three-year-old picture of me real quick. Let me charge my phone. Hold on, I'll be right back. I would literally fucking kill you. I'd overpower you easily. Right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> the Echo Show, Pain. Hello. What's it. up, dude? How you doing? If coffee fun. lowers testosterone levels, that's probably why I'm never horny. I'm always horny. Horny. Like, wait, always horny. Women that's have likely due to your age. Horny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm never like. What does it mean, horny? I don't get wet anymore. Sexually frustrated. Oh my, my boy Igor! My boy Igor! <laughs> Stop saying this shit to people. Jesus. Oh. Why does this upset you? <laughs> we were talking about earlier about confidence and shit. Pain. Yeah, pain. Why don't oh, you miss it? God, none. I bet Wait, you with the right person that you can get wet. <laughs> I want to create. Dad, Maybe I'm gay. You might Maybe. be. It's all about self exploration. Yeah, you Igor, know why, Igor, why are you with like Ted Chat? <laughs> I do, I do know about everything, bro. Because I mean, I, I am like, because you've been in the I'm sexually confident, years. bro. I mean, like, I know yeah, that I only like, I only out. like women. Like, I only you have attraction. Are gay. My sister's a lesbian. Yeah, you're not gay, but you do shit, you know. I'm bi. Just because you know you like to fuck bitches doesn't mean you're a lesbian. Yeah, just because you like to suck dick doesn't mean you're gay. Well, I was pain I'm bi. I'm bi, but I'm not attracted to Shut dude. up, Doug. The whole time I talk so listen, dude. This is a three-year-old. <laughs> this, this is a three-year-old photo of me, bro. This is a three-year-old photo of me. Okay. Wow, you wow, look even gayer than you look like a shit. fucking shit. <laughs> Meth child. Yeah. Fucking Whatever. So I look. I look much better now, bro. You definitely, you definitely look fucking better now. Meth child looking <laughs> but, I, You're still the same guy. Well, listen, Echo Show. Don't listen to Pain. Years ago. Pain's a hater. Listen, dude. I look fine. I think that I look like I'm like a six out of ten right now. Six, seven out of ten. I'm a seven out of ten on a good day. I don't know how you. I'm coming on here. Don't look pain. Yo, everybody! Stop flooding! Stop flooding! You're fucking ugly. Hit, washed up. Your thumb was fine. Just six. Four, maybe. And I made it with the fucking coach looking ass. Wanted to get on the team, but he couldn't get on ass looking at listen, us. Somebody, listen somebody sent me $10 on Venmo and said, I want to see your thongs. Wow, nice Dude. stealth brag. Jesus Christ. No, no for real. real. <clears throat> this guy is sending you, like, accept the money. Accept yeah, the money. He's been sending me $400 a month for simply talking to him. How do you so accept the money? I don't know. Oh, this is seven. Congratulations, you That's bitches! Right. Throw yourselves out. Can you Good guys job. all uh, congratulate all Igor? Can you guys all congratulate Igor? He just lost his virginity last night. Can you guys? Bro, Igor, what's it feel like? Do I've never done it. Why do people do this? Like, I don't even know this person, and they just send me money. Look how happy he is. Dude, Igor just lost his virginity, guys. You celebrate. Says. ABC. And he will never no, see my I'm virgin. because I will never show them. He's right. Yo, man, it's that $10 just for me. My, my virginity is protective thongs, as fuck. You got it. thongs to show for it? That's it. Oh, it's from you or for you? I, I thought you said it was Bro. for you. Bro. Oh, pff, you stupid. You ain't seen any shit, buddy. <laughs> But man, it's like, all right, well, let me get my $10 back. Sure, what is your fucking Venmo? <laughs> you really just sent her 10 bucks? No, what the fuck I look like? I didn't even got $10 to send anybody. I wish I had $2 to get uh, yeah, a man. fucking I mean, like Xbox Live bucks. Game Pass. Good is that shit. English? What the fuck? Send Dude. me my 10 bucks. Look at this little retarded nigger boy. I use wow. Venmo. Holy shit.
Calm down. Don't use this N word, please. With the purple eyes, with yeah, the use the, if you use the N word, yeah, Igor. Uh, you got ten dollars in white cash. Boy. Fuck that. We don't like your kind here. You're a fucking trash ass white boy, ugly ass nigga. I like no. second act. You have nothing to say. Listen, you're gonna start the black plague, you fucking white piece of shit. Who got his band? Busy. Yo, listen. Igor, Igor, fuck these guys up. The only reason why, Jeremy, I'm getting rid of you right now is because you're it busy. Yeah, get the fuck out, Jeremy. Pussy. You should have told him you were gonna close him. I closed another cam so I could cam up. What? Well, I didn't know that. Uh, you know. He was one to queue up. Why'd you ban Jeremy and still let him just shit the dog? Because he's a little faggot. I don't like that Yo, dude. He's my, he's my little Yo. lover. <laughs> he's my biggest fan. I think you're both gay together. Dude, yeah, you want to be gay with us. What are you talking about? You didn't enjoy that, faggot. I will say Doug looks like my friend Sam's ex-boyfriend who used to beat women, so, like, you don't have that going for you. You look like a woman beater. I guess you were in the military, too. Yeah, you better stop talking shit. You might be You're in the military, too? I bet you wish I was in the military. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing if you were, then you're 100% just like this guy, and you are a woman beater. I bet you wish I was. I bet you like that. No, you? you're not my type at all. Yeah, you love me. Don't lie. No, you have fat cheeks and not a good facial structure. You like my fat cheeks and my perfect jawline, what are you talking about? But do perfect I have jawline? Your cheeks are so fat you don't got a jawline and my chin's stronger than you. <laughs> do I have <laughs> nice like facial structure? You should get jaw surgery. Too massive. Why would I do that? Uh, and guys don't have a place to set their balls. Oh. That's fucking oh. rude. Ooh. I get the perfect butt job. What the fuck are you talking about? You fucking bad job. Ugh. No, you're so ugly. You look like you're rejected by every girl, bro. Yeah, <laughs> so every, every time. You literally oh, get rejected by the fat, <laughs> most raunchiest bitch. I bet you a hundred bucks. Look out. Nigga got rejected by Big Bertha. Fucking big girls. Fucking elephants. Dude, open your eyes for the sun. Oh, I can't open them anymore. I'm gonna get zombie. I'm gonna fucking. You're gonna fuck really hard. Well, let's just keep doing this. I got a little coffee. This shit's left. Where did my go? Doug, you're just a fucking pussy faggot, bitch. Doug's little brother looked at him. What's he doing in the mirror? You see that shit? I see your kneecap, bro. Dude, I like this. This is nice. This is a good little addition to our room. This is so self-confident, smiling in the mirror. That's what I need to start doing. Oh yeah. When you hear all these shit talkers, just smile. I see you. <laughs> Igor, I really liked that and I love how you're confident. And I'm gonna use that as inspiration throughout the rest of my day. And I'm gonna Oh, thanks so much. There's a thing on Tommy Chat called uh, Dirty Horrors and you don't wanna listen. No, so every time I look in the mirror I'm gonna smile. So thank you, Igor. You're a very wholesome person and I appreciate your existence. Igor, she's just messing with you. Don't listen to the No, I'm not. What the yeah, fuck is your is problem? Evil. Maybe you would actually mean evil, evil. like Igor. that dog, but you're she's fucked evil. up. Because you're a fucking psychopath. You're fucked up in the head, Doug. It's all right. I don't think like that. Hey, Igor, she says that to every guy. Just take it with a grain of salt, okay? Igor, I think you're mad, Doug, fucking doing good, bro. Said that to you. No, Igor, Igor, he's, he's just trying to turn you into a beta because he can see the Igor, Igor, Igor. <laughs> Igor. Igor, <laughs> Igor, don't listen to pain, okay? Father, Igor, 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 hey. Igor's trying to. Igor, if you got a boner and you know it, keep smiling. Igor. 
Igor, don't He's smile. like, he's smiling. He's like, I can't not smile. smile. Yeah, you're <laughs> 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 he's fucking him, bro. He's like, how am I, am I supposed to bro? Just go. Listen, don't talk to my brother like that, okay? Hey, shut the you fuck up, dog. Dog, 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 boy. Listen, don't talk to my brother like that, you little beta. Hey, shut up, beta. This is Alpha speaking. Over. I'm not speaking. Alpha, over. I'm listening. Wanna do dirty spots with father issues? A lot of dumbass wannabe military men that go around beating women and then pretend they're big and little on the internet. A lot of stolen values. Whole lot of stolen values. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't listen to Doug, he's a liar, bro. Fat cheeks, little dick. Fat cheeks, little dick. <laughs> Pussy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why his cheeks are not so big? I'm gonna tell you, Bob, you fucking just got for me. We're not, we're not talking about his butt cheeks, we're talking about his face cheeks. Do you see how fat they get down here by the bottom of his like face? Like they're super fat. I thought I had fat cheeks. Nah, he had fat cheeks. I bet girls do go crazy over his fat. I don't. It doesn't hurt their hands. Yeah, I'm no. like, uh, sock is that. Yeah, you know, it's clean for your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I think the laying down sleepy thing doesn't work for us. We're oh very God, angry. Oh my God, he plays harmonica. Okay, <laughs> right. this is definitely my Snapchat. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna snap, I'm gonna send you my Snapchat, you were, all right? You play what? fucking harmonica. That pain. What type of epoxy countertops are you talking about? Are you talking about the ones that you have to lay and then brush and like you add the color uh, to it and no, it no, no. So you uh, mix and heat. Okay. 
The one that you you don't use heat on is a lot easier, but it kind of sucks because you have to wear those weird shoes with nails on the bottom. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be making a like um, a five by one foot table for a computer system. Yeah, this small is I I figure what I would do is find some like uh, some river wood that's oak, sand it down, um, stain it with a dark dark stain, put it all in a box, get some epoxy that's like kind of blue or whatever, add some LEDs in inside of it. If you're gonna use the natural bark on it, you have to get some type of sandblaster or an air blaster to clean the bark off properly. Okay. So you'll have a nice surface that the epoxy will attach to. There's a bunch of videos. If you watch videos, you'll be able to do it. This is all I have left. <laughs> Yo, dude. Yo, is my mic going? Yeah. In Russia. This is the song, though. The guy who plays the fucking harmonica. Do you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? Do you hear me? Recognize this, this song. Just by looking at them, you can imagine where they are. I mean, yeah. Pretty much. Alright, I'm gonna go to this video. 
you guys. I thought you said you didn't want to go. I'm just going to go anyway. My, I'm going to be walking over there anyway. So like, I'm just going to get some of it out of the way. At least one. So I don't have to worry about like doing five more. Because I'm going to do six right now. Six 18 by 24 inch drawings. Of like up those garments. Yeah. So I should probably get to work on that. Yeah, you got some work you gotta do. You gotta get that shit done. You know what you gotta do. Bye. 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 She's gone. Where's this girl? It's a What's the name of this sack of duck? Hello, dog. Hey, work. What? Who's laying on the horn? Jeez. Yeah, jeez. This freaking horn. Jeez. So, who asked about uh, us having jobs, huh? Shut up. Cheers. You have a job? Probably. I literally got out of work an hour ago. And I'll be okay, will you go to another room? <laughs> Maybe here? You grow up at? Hello, dudes. Right, Y'all calm down so I can turn the fucking music back on. Midnight, hello. Ah. Uh, yeah. Florida's a funny fucking state. That's you got some fucking. A little bit of everything. You got like the whole United States represented in Florida. It's like you got that. that Okay, they have. That's good. You seem like you're about 18. Oh, boy, relaxer, do I look 18? Hello? You look 13. What? No, you're lying. I don't look 13. Abel, relaxer, hello? Fourteen. What really is that the ages you think I really are? Fifteen. Are you being for real? Benji, you look. Benji, Benji. Benji, you look like a Ed Sheeran. You look like a Sheeran. No, no, I'm not Benji. Benji. I can't think of the guy's name right now, but as soon as I do. The Edger guy who oh. looks exactly like the motherfucker. Hey, Bull Relaxer, do you work? No. What, seriously? No. She just chatterbaits all day. That is disgusting. I don't know if you want to hear that. Chatterbait? That is disgusting. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I have a question. Why did your camera, like, have those two black borders on it? Is, are you using OBS? It's explicit. Oh, it's just suck. It's because there's too much resolution. I never heard anything existed like that in Great Britain. Yeah, I was gonna tell you this, like, you should fix your camera. 
No, but it's whatever. It's like 4096 by whatever fucking resolution. That's why it looks like that. Okay, let's go to one more room. GTS 3. If there's certain colors, I could choose those colors, and then that's what it chroma keys to, and it kind of acts as your green screen. Yeah, I use money cam when I'm, well, I use a different thing when I'm over at a different site. Hello, everybody. Oh, God, shut up. What's wrong? Brighty Rican. I can tell you're a fucking weirdo. You don't belong in this room. Hey, Igor, where are you from? I'm from Russia. Okay. Um, Mother Russia! How do you look like that? Na zdrowie. Na zdrowie, da. V pożądku. Vodka. Balalaika. Motherfucking vodka. I want to get my <laughs> vodka next door. It's like my bow, but... Okay, let's I'm go. I'm haircut today. Spectrum. Jasper. Oh, no, no, no. Live directory. Right. This is how Americans perceive cricket. Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's five fucking minutes. <laughs> Hello? Okay. I'm not prop. I do propagate it. Okay, time chat. They're speaking. I don't wear large lashes like this often, but sometimes I want that baba. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just wanna be on the face. Be dramatic as fuck. Exactly. Like, wow. <laughs> oh man. Hello. Oh. Fuck. P.S. I'm not leaving the house with these. <laughs> Wait, why not leaving the house? I'm confused. I mean, I'm not leaving the house with these. I'm definitely going to switch them up. <laughs> Wait, we're just going to switch them up. Do we make them look even bigger or just like... Oh, no, no, no. Tone it down. <laughs> They're not healthy for your it's lashes either. either. No one cares. Simber, I hello. In the episode, I think it was on The View, they were talking about how eyelash... <laughs> Princess Peach.
Hi there. Hello, Robin. Hello, delete Brexit. Slacker, hello. Why are you not speaking? You just won't speak. Huh. Huh. Sometimes there's nothing to say. Okay. Kai muted. Hello. Hi. Your nose is so beautiful. I look better as fuck. Stop lying. It's bad. Lying is bad. No. You don't look like a dead person. I played World Warcraft for Undead Race and I know how that person looks like. Who is Maria Lena? Is she bot? This hello. D Y D D Y S. And keyboard cowboys. Who is good one for trying? <laughs> okay, hello. Yes. Let's make a noise. Oh, Robin. Hello. Are you Russian? Why did you say an word? <gasps> Maria Elena, you look so preciously. Oh, Jesus. I'm going be wet. and horny okay I will not go I will be keep it in your pants okay and delete brexit why do you have this tool on your avatar this box what is it is chatter baiting pose isn't it is useful for clicking kai e muted can you repeat it you did it so nice huh Can you or not? What? Uh, I want to... I want it. Again. Huh? Huh. Ha ha ha. Can someone explain what's going on? Igor should have his own talk show. Really? I much prefer your skin tone. What do you prefer? Chocolate skin tone? Or white chocolate skin tone?
Natural. Okay. Cookies and cream skin tone. <laughs> Bananas skin tone. Like a Simpsons. Red velvet. Okay. You're so active, chat room. You are active as fuck. Whoa! Watch your language. My language? Yeah. So rude. So rude. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me for rudeness, my dear princess. Don't call me a princess. <laughs> okay, lady. The F word hurts my virgin ears. Oh, Mary, notice me. Oh, Mary, 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 Mary. Are you here, Maria? Maria. <laughs> Looks like he has never been mad in his life. Yes, I'm happy, dude. Moderator Litmigo has left the room. Well, are you Dutch? You can guess. House could be burning down, just chilling. Kai muted. What's your name, please? Can you introduce Hi. yourself? Kai? Really? Like a Skywalker. But only Kai. Kai Walker. Kai. Can you please explain? Where are you from? Montreal, wow. Is it Spanish? Or Chinese? Canada. Oh, okay. Canada, nice. It is this leaf of freedom. Red and white. How, how to say it? Uh, how to say it? Marble or marble, murple. Marple leaf. Maple leaf. Can you repeat it again? Maple. Ah. Maple leaf. Can you say it backwards? Leaf maple. <laughs> <laughs> no, <but. laughs> maple leaf. Yes. Yes, thanks so much, you, you, you are my dear guru. And thanks, addition, addition thanks for Kai, Kai, that muted. It is really interesting to have conversation with you, my dear viewers. I'm trying to learn English. Can you help me? I can say a few words and you can help me. If you want. Okay, your English is sufficient. Sufficient? What, uh, what's meaning of sufficient? Adequate. Ah, oh, enough. Oh, thanks. It's eight. One moment, I will took Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Let's crush it. And the Goblin of Flame.
do you have this book in your shops or not? Guys. It is Broom Bloomsbury. Harry Potter is huge worldwide, really. Oh, yes. It is English version. By the way, do you know one more book? One moment. Can you? It is uh, Dog Shoe. Shoe Dog. It is biography of uh, Nike. Nike. Okay, let's go to the book. He double checked every nook and cranny of his bedroom. What does it mean? Nook and cranny. Nook and cranny. What is? But what is nook? Crevice? Every possible spot. Ah, it is phrase, yes? Nook and cranny, it is friends. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. One more phrase. Thanks so much. You're so great teacher. That's great. Harry felt a slight sense of foreboding. What is foreboding? Foreboding. It is like a sad or like a nervous. I think it's nervous. Foreboding. F O R E B O O D I N G. Fearful apprehension. Ah, like a, I'm fearful that something will go wrong. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Delete Brexit. You are my dear instrument of order. Fearful apprehension. I feeling that something bad will happen. Oh, yes. In English or it is English language. Next word. Uncle Vernon wanted to look impressive and intimidating. Intimidating, what is? Intimidating like uh, you are so important as fuck. Or what? Or it is like uh, you are master. Having a frightening over raving or threatening effect. Ah, it is. Hmm. It means that he has fear. Straight out to Google. If we. Ah, thanks. Thanks, okay. Thanks. Thanks so much for recommendation me to go to the Google because I wanted to have a conversation with you. It is like a feedback for me. Online feedback. But okay, thanks. Ah, you said like you you used to Google 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 definition, yes? Ah, thanks. Who has a voice in this chat room? You prefer to type. Hmm. Oh, she's sweet body psycho. 
Delete Brexit like typing. <laughs> I might go make some eggs and cookies. Okay. Have a nice appetito. Igor, keep up the good work on your English. Thanks. I have a YouTube channel if you want to support me. I will not recommend. I will not promote it, but if you want, I can say it. But uh, sorry for moderation if I will say it. Can I say it? It is my journey of learning English. Okay, only for delete Brexit. It is name of my of my channel. You can check it if you want. I am singing, by the way. And if you want, you can write to me and we will be friends. Wow, two girls. Hello, Kitty. Wow. <laughs> Hello, Kitty, like uh, it's a movie or cartoon. Kai muted. What's the flavor of the hookah? Lemon mint mixed with spiced chai. Ah, oh, but can you say it? Because you have nice accent. No. No. <laughs> You have gaming chair. Are you gamer? No, it's just comfortable. Oh. <laughs> Are you a beatboxer? <laughs> no, far from it. Ah, it, uh, it was a uh, random sound, yes. Descent chair. Descent, it is... Uh, what is it? Descent. What does it mean? Descent, okay. It's not so bad. 200. Oh my. I has... I, I, I don't know. I have chair. Do you know how much? Can you guess? What's the cost of my chair? 60. Huh. Less. One more attempt. Let's go. Money? Uh, okay, easier. Okay, let's do one more attempt. Less. Zero? Mm, no, it is 12. 12 dollars from IKEA. 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 I don't know how to say IKEA. I. It is Sweden company. In Russia, it co it called uh, IKEA. Ikea, Ikea, okay. It is almost invisible. It does it swivel or rotate, but my screen is rotating. Good, yeah. Whoa, whoa, so fast. Wow, Jesus. What does it mean? What does word anticipation means mean? Do you support Putin? Putin put out. I sometimes switch my other chair though. Because this one is too tall for me. Wow. Size means a lot, yes. 
saves all the tool. And special means suspense to find something out. But what is suspense? Antis Antis e Anticipation Anticipation This, yes Anticipation Kitty Nora, you look beautiful You look beautiful I like you, from Russia No. Oh. <laughs> it is <laughs> exchange of the chairs. Suspense is a feeling or delay to find something you want to know. Ah, okay. Suspense means you like a... What's... Uh, doctor... Doctor... Sherlock Holmes. You're like a Doctor Sherlock Holmes and you want... To find sus something, yes? Bye everybody. Have a nice watch time. Thanks a lot for everybody who was here. Let's go to one more room. from Indonesia Okay, no better. Oh yeah, I need to pull the eyebrows. Shit. They are out of control. Ah! Oh. 
Dude, I hate plucking my eyebrows. So ouchy. <laughs> you sounded like me for a second. You said so out to you. That's such a mom thing to say because this is what my kids say. Exactly. Right? Oh my god, it's so ouchy. Ow! I just want to, for every 90s baby in here, right, just think about it, right? It's Wait, about to be think? 2020 in like five months, right? So people in 2002 are going to get the vote. Just think about that. Like, 2000, anybody born in 2002 be able to vote. I went to high school in 2005. Okay. Hey, my fiance gets on me about the same shit. Are you watching Alien? Word. One of the best movie sequels. My motherfucking made. man. Dude, I love Alien when you get to see the fucking Colonial Marines. That shit is so dope. It's got Bill Paxton in it. Game I over, I know, man. right? <laughs> fucking, what was it he says? Jace, hello. Uh, I forget it. I forget what he says. Something about... Game over, Jones man. What are we going to do now? <laughs> Jace. Game over, man. They're everywhere. Game over. Maybe you, you have this question all the time but is it your room jace yeah, yeah i get it. i get that a lot <laughs> is it computer club lab laboratory no that's all it is. some people say it's green screen and i'm actually naked in a lawn chair in a garage somewhere hey i am what you think i am eminem said that Eminem? No, I am whatever you say I am. Mom's spaghetti. Yeah, I stand corrected. <laughs> nah, he's just he's just a rich old fogey with too much money and time on his hands. He pretty much nailed that one. <laughs> Jace, where are you from? Uh, Dayton, Ohio. Oh, you're only a few hours away from me. Come on over, bring some weed. Maybe. I'm in, I'm I'm in Indiana, but I'm outside Chicago. Oh, I, I, that's cool. Yeah, you're like four and a half hours away, I think. I don't travel much anymore, though. Um, I've never been to Chicago. It's a windy city. I heard. Do you know? Do you know where the term "windy city" came from? No. Okay. So. In the late 1800s, like the 1890s, um, ironically, Cleveland, Ohio, and Chicago, Illinois, were sister cities. But they shit-talked each other a lot because they were both huge providers of meat for the country. A lot of butchering went on there because they're on some uh, pretty big rivers or some shit. I forget the exact thing. Well, Cleveland said that we were, that Chicago is a bunch of blowhards, and so it's a windy city. And instead of taking it as an insult, Chicago said we're the windy city. It's really not that windy, though. It can be, but it's not. Well, I often wondered why it was called that. Well, thank you. My IQ just got five points higher. Uh, they're also called the city of broad shoulders. How did this? Uh, how did you say this joke about IQ? Because uh, I'm a Russian and I want to learn it. What's that? Jace said something about IQ. Oh, he said his IQ went up five points. Oh, nice. Where are you from, Igor? I'm from Russia, Saint Petersburg. It is uh, north capital of Russia. 
excuse well, awesome. my my terrible accent and probably conjugation. Uh, Minoplo parus. Ah, uh, what did you say? Oh, one moment again. Minoplo parus. Ты говоришь по-русски. See, I told you. Okay, 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 okay. All is okay. All is okay. N nice attempt. He's advertising. Well, props to you, my Russian friend. You have women from Russia that are the most beautiful women on the planet. Really? Russia. Really? <laughs> I, I wanted to, I want right now, I have a big passion to go to America to have uh, America girlfriend. They're not all they're cracked out to be, man. Or they're cracked up to be. I, I, I like to listen American accent, but Russian you accent... You are too happy. You are too happy to be inside your body. You're just too fucking happy. Who's that? <laughs> You know that kid's a virgin. I don't think he is. I think he is. Definitely. He's too young. Dude, he he's reasonably good looking, in good shape. I think he's I think he's put some fucking dicks in women. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna get him. How old are you, Igor? I'm twenty one. Going to uh, what do you guys? University, college. I yes, I, I, I agree. How to say it? I have degree, bachelor degree of information security, and uh, right now I'm going to strategic marketing of uh, information security. Very well, cool. So Igor, you have your bachelor. I'm just going to throw this out there. If you ever come to the United States, <laughs> you got to check out this place called Las Vegas. You got to at least go there once. Las Vegas. Yeah. Uh, sh yeah. Should I go? Why? Five reasons why should I go to Las Vegas? Hookers, weed, 24-hour bar, gambling, and nightlife. What is gambling? He nailed that. He nailed that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a city that never sleeps, man. <laughs> but I know. What, I know. What some... happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> Yes, we have uh, the same uh, proverb in uh, Russian language, but in Russian uh, translation. Interesting fact. In, I'm trying to think. In, in Russian language, it sounds like что было в Вегасе остается в Вегасе. That is so fucking dope. <laughs> hey, Igor. Yes. Ever play a game called Stalker? Stalker, yes, I know about this, and uh, every child uh, in uh, in Russia played this game. Every child of t two thousand uh, two thousand. You have three videos going for a show. <laughs> I heard they're going to make roadside picnic into a TV show on. Amazon or Netflix? Roadside Picnic is what Stalker is based off of. Ah, the book. I, I don't know, but uh, I uh, I don't like this game so much, but I know about it. I'm really fucking good at it. Oh, nice. And well, it's a very, very hard game. And then I just, I don't know. I just, it's my fucking playground, dude. Playground. It it means uh, it's like a per, it's like a phrase. It's my fucking um, playground. It is uh, yes, yes. It's a it's a phrase. Yes. It means uh, that you, know, you, you understand playground, right? Like play where children would yes, go to yes, play. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it's my fucking playground. That's where I go. I will push the little kids over, rob some motherfuckers, <laughs> go shoot up some mutants. <laughs> Get called, uh, what is it? Suka. Oh, they constantly, they go, they're, they're yelling Suka and Bliat all the time. I, I actually have a t shirt somewhere that says Suka Bliat. Whoa, do you have it? I don't know where it is, it's in my garage, but yeah, I have it. 
how did, I, I, how did you uh, order it? Um, I googled. Oh, uh, yeah, I googled something. I saw it and ordered a hat and a shirt. I saw it on PewDiePie. Oh. Yeah. Do you know and this Sweden person? No, I don't know the Sweden person. That'd be pretty cool. And by the way, Fred, can you please explain? No, explain. Can you say what's the favorite books from childhood of American person? Or maybe ca common, a common average books to read? Well, I'm a bad person to ask because books were like my retreat, but probably Lord of the Rings, the Wheel of Time series. One moment. Animorphs. Very nice. Very nice. Animorphs, which is about humans that can turn into animals uh, after they're given some alien technology and they're fighting an alien invasion. It it's a stupid young adult. Anamorphs. Yes. And, uh... I don't know. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm getting a little old, so I don't know what kids these days are reading. God, I said kids these days. Uh... Probably they're reading Twilight. <laughs> Twilight. Oh, yes, I know about this. It is a v I read vampire saga. I read the whole fucking series so I could make fun of it better. What's your favorite part? I don't have a favorite part. I hated the whole thing. <laughs> I read it so that I could make fun of it. What's your... And I hated it. It was awful. I didn't give a fuck about it at all. What's your less favorite part? All of it. Every single page. I just fucking... I'd sit there and I'd be reading it and it'd give me a headache and I'd have to set it down and be like... <sighs> I had to take breaks. It felt like I was working. <laughs> How much hours? I don't know. Over... I read it over a week, so... Probably ten hours? It's like two hours per book. Oh, okay. And uh, what's the most fascinating book you uh, book you ever read? Mm. Wow, that so, one's so big, butchered. Um, you know, <laughs> probably, it'd have to be the Warhammer Forty K rule book, or it would be. Dungeon Master's Guide for D&D. &D. Dungeon and Mysteries? Wow. Looks like an adventure time. Look at the lo label. Logo. Yo, bro, guess what? What? Chicken butt? I want to take you on an adventure, son. Ain't you, son? Not you. To me? Yeah, you, dude. I don't want to, like, de virginize you, take a couple shots. Have a I couple don't think he's a virgin. <laughs> Are you a virgin, dude? Um, I was. We all were once. So he's not, see? <laughs> I was. Probably got a better oh, by the way, interesting fact: I was uh, two months ago, but right now I had uh, smashed two girls. Fucking a nice. One uh, model from uh, Chatterbait, and uh, <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> nice. No, I, I I believe you. And uh, one girl, uh, like a friend. I, I, I used to have sex with a uh, chatterbait model, and then, well, she wasn't a model then, she only became one after. She showed me her lovens. 
or Lovins? Lovins, yes, it is a tool, like a vibrating tool for a vagina. Oh, Love Sense. Love Sense, yes. Okay, okay. See, I want, I want to get my fiance one of those, but she's like, "Oh, no, you'll, I'll be sitting there, and you'll do it while I'm at work." And my question is, why are you wearing it at work? Why? Well, no, this is my fiance. I'll show you. Hang on. Shayla, hello. Why are she doesn't look like she wants to talk? Haha, uh -huh. she looks like a she's from Stephen King. It. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she, she did not like us pointing her out. Oh, is it your girlfriend? That's my fiance. Yeah. Fiance? Who? Who is fiance? I don't understand this word. So can you explain? We're gonna get married. Oh. It is like a girl that you, d for, for, I propose. her, per yes. yeah, you have proposed, pur pur yeah. proposal. And uh, what's, again, can you repeat it? Fiance? Fiance. Oh, fiance. It is a Francais word, maybe. It's, it's, um, yeah. I'll, I'll put it in chat. Fiance. Oh, thanks. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's. Like Italian in origin, but fuck if I. Right, cool. looks like a whore. She looks like a whore. I gotta go. I'll be back. She looks uh, nice. I want to say, yes. She's 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 nice for the most part. Does she have American accent? Oh, this photo is uh, cute. Yeah, yeah. She was born here. Oh, good. Does is it average? No, no, no. It's not a good question. What's the most common average appearance of American girl? Because I want to go abroad, and always when I watch videos, it is not truthful. Yes, if we will watch a video, there's a lot of ugly women. A lot of ugly women really? in the United States. And there's a lot of really shitty personalities, like terrible people. They're they're not nice. Like uh, with uh, ego. Well, f that feminism bullshit. Do you know what feminism yeah, is? Yes, yes, I know. It is like a, I'm a girl and I can do everything like a man. And they can't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's in America. It's taken up to uh like 12 like on a 1 to 10 they're going at 12 they're going crazy most of the crazy women that incite the bullshit that keeps going on are american women but uh, or they're german what kind of women and uk do you know something about uk women women uh, they drink too much, and they're a little overweight. Than American. Than everyone. Ah. Uh -huh. British and women are fat, and they're kind of <laughs> slags. I see Gold over here laughing. He's like, "Oh shit, he knows." <laughs> and Australian. They're actually pretty good looking if they're not aborigine. Should I go to Australia? I like American accent of girls. It Come is to America. Kind of you get to shoot guns. Kind, kind of sexy. I think. There's a lot of different accents. Um, <clears throat> I have a Chicago accent, which means I carry my A's and my O's. And instead of saying like the or there I'll say dat and dare uh sometimes by accident 
and we have one of the most neutral accents in the country. Can I ask one question? You are like a guru of accent or maybe guru-ish? Well, I lived I lived all over the country. Whoa. Can I ask yeah. a question? I can send you vid- a yeah. video and uh, can I say what's accent of this girl? Sure, you give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, okay, okay. My name is Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. Uh, I think it's October 18th, 2017. It's October 18th, 2018. I'm 15. I'm 16. Okay, we will wait. Gold, hello. I do. I do. Oh, you can speak good. And uh, what do you do? What are you doing? I am smoking some weed. What are you doing? Oh, I'm doing right now. I'm waiting for Fred, and uh, for about my day, I'm doing learning English. Uh, cool. You're learning English. Yes. Do you learn uh, another foreign language besides uh, English? I learned Japanese in to watch high school and Italian in primary school. Do you watch anim- yeah. anime, cartoons? But like, I'm not, not that much. I'm not, uh, I'm not good at that. Well, was that Italian? Oh, okay. What, and what about Italians? I learned a bit uh, in like primary school and I had to learn Japanese. Oh no no, Hito wa nezo non de mas. So you're better the than girl, me. Girls I drinks know. water. <laughs> oh, mamma mia, pampala mia, delicious pizza. <laughs> you guys are funny, but I gotta tell you, I'm taking a little offense here. Uh, I'm half Italian. My biological father was born in Palermo, Italy. Yeah. Oh, good. Good fact. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a first-generation American on my, uh, my dad's side. How did you do this? How did you achieve this result? <laughs> my biological father's parents, fearing communism, fled in the 1950s. I think it was 1956 or 1957, they came to the United States. And then, you know, 30 years later, my mom and dad met and had sex and I came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, no, uh, nice evolution story. <laughs> they, they did some business together, I guess my mom and dad. And then, uh, They just kind of liked each other. Oh, Gold, you can't leave, dude. Gold are here. And, ca- okay, it is good. And so what's, what's the business? It was um, awnings. Uh, can I explain uh, more about it? Awnings. Um... You know those things that hang over, like, the front of oh, stores? Oh, I know, I know. I have... Uh, that have, I have writing one. on them? My mom made them, and my dad owned uh, a business. She made one for him, and they liked each other. Wow, really interesting, because today I was walking on my, uh, on my street, and I was looking at awnings. But I didn't know this word, and I thought that what's the name of this thing in the English language? I know how it how it sounds uh, on Russian language, but in English I didn't know. And uh, right now you said it. It is a good uh, like a Arnie. sequence of uh, reality.
so you 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 can know if I got it if you're looking at the right thing, yeah. Yes, 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 absolutely right, correct. By the way, can I check this video and say for Yeah, I was I was wondering when you were gonna ask me. What's the what's the accent of this girl? Sure. What's that, Nicole? Just Rice. Nicole, hello. Nicole, are you a girl or man? Uh, ah, trans. Man. In between. Really? Chick with a dick. Oh, yeah. Yep. Chick with a dick is... Is it phrasal? Twice the fun. <laughs> yeah, that's how I look at it, man. I mean, I got... Well, I no, got um... I get both sides of the experience. Is it joke about uh, transgender or not? No, like I'm trying to. But yeah. Oh, cuz in she, Russia is oh, yeah, no, like that they, that that was a joke, yeah. This is a really cool training. Yeah, you won't you won't see me go, you know, full on GameStop training. But Oh man, it's <laughs> ma'am. Ma'am, dude, that was nuts. <laughs> dude, that video is still gives, it gives a bad name to all trans people, it, it right? It really does. It, it really does. Like every it time makes I see you all it, look it like uh, unstable. Mm -hmm. Pardon the term, faggots. Well, okay. There are people in the training community who are like that. There are straight up, well, you know, the, like, it's the, ma'am. Like, well, you know, some of what people are saying is part of it is AGP, that autogynophilia, where they're more turned on at the thought of them being a woman and dressing in women's clothes then they are really suffering from gender dysphoria or you know uh, identity complications right not to say so, that you're suffering from gender dysphoria but you know in general right in in general a lot of people do it for the sexual kink of it but no nah, i've been I've, I've ruled it out it's i I've, i do have gender dysphoria do you I gotta ask right. you, do you want to chop the dick off or do you want to keep it? So, uh, I want to correct you there. They don't actually chop it off. Well, no, you they never cut it and invert it. Right. I know. But, I like, know. My cousin went through personally, it. Personally, I do, but like, that's something... What, okay, what scares me about it, that it's whole It's an individual basis. Right, like I want to do the procedure, but what scares me the most about it is the recovery time. Like Not it's a solid. It turns out right. It's no, no. It doesn't matter if it turns out right. It's a solid six months to a year of recovery. Yeah. yeah, it's about six months. Like you've got, you've got to basically dilate your new vagina for six months. So yeah, it doesn't you still collapse. have to dilate it every day, even after for the rest of your life. Yeah. Well. For the rest of your life, yeah, but not as severe as during that like no, yeah, first because initial you gotta, six month to a year. You gotta stretch it out. Yeah, I, I just uh. see horror <laughs> stories. I know, I know. My my cousin went did. through it. He well now she. I was the first person they told. Mm -hmm. They said I'm gay and I want to become a woman, and I laughed in his face because I thought he was fucking with me because he's notorious for it, and he cried, and I went, wait, you're serious. And then we sat in his car for two hours while he talked to me. And I was like, well, that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. And he was like, yeah. And so William became Leela. Although I wish he hadn't picked a fucking Futurama name. He's yeah, a fucking dork. <laughs> I wouldn't have done Leela. Like... That's something Neither that's really kind of, like, gets me. Everyone's like, well, what... what? What? Uh, fucking pizza. Rice. Get out of my gum. If if Sorry. I was going to transition, I would have to just go with like Jamie. Well, I'd like, have to just you know reverse my like feminize it. I because I I don't think I'd ever answer to Sarah. Right. Like, a lot of people do that. They use the same first letter, and then they just go with the more feminine name. Well, but then, mine's James, like, so... Yeah. And, like, for for me, my, my name is Brandon, so, like, there's not a lot of really good names around the area Brittany? I live in. It well, is there's good Brittany. name. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like B. Well, I've hey. never... 
I've never, I don't like, get the opportunity to reinvent myself, so that's really cool that you get that. Everyone can reinvent themselves. Everyone says they can't. Oh, I can't reinvent myself. Only trans people. No, you now, hang on. That's e a bullshit Sorry. lie. Igor, I'm gonna watch your video. You just gotta give me a minute. I'm talking. Okay, okay. It is interesting talk, and uh, it is interesting question. Well, What's the uh, name you know, will be if you will be uh, transgendered? I, I moved 1,500 miles and had the opportunity to reinvent myself. No. But I'm happy as the person that I am. And even with the opportunity, I'm going to still be the same guy. Even if I construct a new fake personality, who the fuck is going to know, blah, blah, blah. Well, now, now it's a little harder because of uh, Facebook and social media and all that. But, Jesus. you know, I could have, but I didn't want to be a different person. I just want to be myself. Right. Well, you don't have to be a complete different person when you do it either. I mean, like, you can just revamp, say, your... Uh, what motivates you to be healthy or, or something along those lines, you know, like there, it, it doesn't mean you have to change your name and change your social security number and find a new state to live in, and, you know, like all, all this stuff. I, mean, I want to hear your best girl voice, though, dude. <laughs> you ain't going to get one today. <laughs> I've been smoking too much weed this last week. Well, dude, I, I, I got to tell you, I've been working. on. I've it, heard though. some pretty bad ones. Have you? thought about oh, yeah. the vocal cord shaving no because uh at the time of my research uh there was like a good 50 percent chance it's like that, 35 like, that you won't be able to talk anymore it's right like there's like a good 35 percent chance you can and it's vocal cord paralysis yeah and then there's a good bigger chunk that you'll you'll sound like the folk <laughs> you've been smoking for 40 years is this sexy like <laughs> <laughs> holy shit yeah. Have you ever seen that show, Venture Brothers? Yes. You sounded like fucking Dr. Girlfriend there, dude. Or Dr. Mrs. The Monarch. And I almost I spit did. my beer out. Did you see? I hit, I was like... Yep. I literally spit it into my hand and had to wipe my hand off. But, like, I have a naturally just deep voice. Like, it, it's yeah, gotten dude, a lot so higher. It's gotten a lot higher over the past, like, year and a half. I, I slowly work on it day to day. Are you on hormones but... yet? Mm-hmm. But that that shit doesn't help you with uh, that shit doesn't help you with your voice. Once it gets nice and nipples? low, it stays nice and low. How are your nipples? Because I hear a lot of discomfort from my cousin. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, "Man, yeah, they're no, so like, sensitive. That shit hurts. Even my shirt oh, yeah. rubbing on it is like, ah." Oh yeah, I I started wearing bras about a year ago because it got so bad just from wearing shirts, like. I just, I didn't care that I didn't have titties. I was just like, I don't care. I'm wearing a training bra. Like, the shit is irritating. And Man, then, I don't blame you. And then well, you could get a no padding um, sports bra. Right. And, it, it, you know, <laughs> well, basically you could just call it like a half tank or something. That's basically what they were. I wore like tank tops. Um, well, like shit, my nipples are always sensitive because they're pierced. So I get it. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, okay, for point of reference, yesterday I've noticed that my nipples were the hardest they've ever been and were the biggest they've ever been. So they've definitely gotten class. bigger. They, they've definitely gotten bigger. Uh, but yeah, no, like, uh, you that that is one thing a lot of trans people have to oh, do with is, is nipple discomfort. I, I'm sitting here talking to myself. I forgot to click the mic button. Are, are your areolas expanding? Or does that come with the development of uh, breast tissue? I actually don't know. I haven't noticed any any growth. They still look the same size as they did five years ago. But I don't know. Wait, you've been doing it for five years? Well, no, but like just looking, I remember I have pictures of me like five years ago and just remembering from then, you know, how big my nipples were. Because like I started really trans, like coming out as trans like five or six years ago. I only started hormones like a year ago. But yeah, like that's that's one thing. Uh, the the one thing I hate so far, and that every trans girl has to deal with, is your testicular shrinking, right? Dude, so like, how's your dick? I gotta know. Like, I mean, it's still healthy. I mean, does it does it stand still, to attention? Still seven inch hard shooting. I mean, that's I'm, good. I'm, I'm I'm still I'm still still rocking. Now what? When I shooting blind. 
but well, hey man, you're shooting blanks. You're shooting blanks. Oh well. I'm, I'm still still shooting, so that's good. Lord knows, but... this is this is the thing that I thought when I asked you. Do you do you want to chop the dick? Mm -hmm. I can't imagine living life without a dick. Like if I got paralyzed from the waist down, I'd eat my gun. Mm -hmm. Cause if my dick don't work, I got no reason to live. Right. I enjoy she... pissing. I enjoy fucking, and I enjoy erections, even if they're socially uncomfortable and they make me feel awkward at times. <laughs> right. And that's like like in metro. The thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like on the train, yes. <laughs> I don't know. I want to, but like that's such a it's such a I mean, huge I mean, part of your it, life, right? It is. But like the at the same time the thought of living as a girl and not having a vagina is also just as terrifying to me as actually getting the surgery. And so like for me personally, I I don't know. You know, I don't care. I've lived with a dick for 23 years. It's not like it's killed me. Where, or where I stand, I just don't think that even with all of our medical advances, science and medicine just aren't there all the way yet. Hmm. And That's say you have an irreversible surgery now and 10 years down the road, they go, oh, hey, we, def we, we figured out a way how to grow these and implant them in you. And you're like, Yep. Oh, fuck, I got half a colon and part of my dick instead of a working vagina that I have to do a lot of uptake on and it's never going to be, you know, just right. It's like, fuck. That's why I'm waiting like 10, 15 years to see how our medical uh, experience right. you know, ex extends. Because I have heard of possible surgeries where you can have like implanted uteruses and you can have more well, functional they just... parts and stuff. They just uh, did one of those uh, uh, uter uterine transplant, and the lady got pregnant mm -hmm. with another woman's eggs. Or not, well, yeah, with another woman's eggs. Mm -hmm. But they're also able to take the genetic material from one egg and inject it into another and make a baby now. And ten years ago, that wasn't possible. It's and you might not scary. be a spring flower by the time you get to get your pussy, but it'll be brand new. And guys, <laughs> know. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not it has it's not detrimental to me. I've lived with a dick for 23 years, but like at the same time, the thought of living as a woman without a vagina also scares me. Is yeah, it's scary because then you're always a chick with a dick. Mm. You're just not a chick. I can't go swimming, dude. Yo, I watched this Japanese dude who, like, folded his dick into his scrotum, and he he uses super glue, which sounds terrible, but you can use Ooh. mineral oil. No, you can use mineral oil to dissolve it. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a video where he folds his penis and scrotum, and then it looks like a vagina, and you can't tell anything's going on there. It's really weird. But it's out there. Go to Fortune, and I'm sure you'll find it. I can't tuck, dude. That's what he's doing. He's tucking. So like, there's a there's a crevice there's a crevice in your crotch that your uh, testicles sat in through the most the, the beginning of your life. And then oh, dude, puberty, I can push my testicles right up inside. Yeah. Yeah, right back in right, there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, and it pops out right above. Oh shit, it hurts okay. for me. Not like extremely oh, hurts. Well, dude, your ball shrank. It should be easier Ooh. for you. Well, it maybe, should. Maybe the estrogen <laughs> makes your testicles more sensitive. Oh, and Igor, she's West Coast. That's California. That's the West answer. Coast. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. I did listen to your video. Yes, thanks. I I, I want to You're say like, oh, biggest man, I gotta listen thinking. to these guys. <laughs> and then I, yeah, no, Billy Eilish is uh, West Coast. And uh, should I find... Uh, no, stay out of California. You'll get... Sorry, Nicole. You'll get you'll AIDS. Get... Oh, no, it's... I'm not in California. Uh, but No, I, I mean in California be... in general. You'll just get something. Yeah, California will eat you up and spit you out. Like... And you'll walk away with some lifelong friends that you don't want. 
<laughs> You'll walk away with something you don't want. What's the kindest region of America? Midwest. I love the Arkansas. Arkansas is like the most friendly place. I can literally walk around in like a tank top and booty shorts as I as I look now and people won't give it flying fuck. And these are like hardcore rednecks. Can you write it how how to spell it? How to spell which one? This oh. uh, this region. Oh, Arkansas. Arkansas. Okay. Th Some people call it Arkansas. They mm -hmm. also call it Arkansas. Do you know it's actually a um a blue collar law that if you say Arkansas anywhere on the state, like in the city, that's illegal. You can get like, yeah. You, you spend four hours in jail. Or like, they yell Arkansas at you. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's actually what they do. My uh. There's. My buddy, he his his family lives in Arkansas, and you know we're from Chicago, so it's you know Arkansas. It's also Arkansas. It just depends on who you run into. And he said, "Isn't this Arkansas?" No, he ended up in one of those old timey jail cells in a little podunk town. Well, they said. Arkansas. He goes, Arkansas. Arkansas. Liviosa. And he's Liviosa. like, where's the W? Where's the fucking W? They were like, dude, we'll actually take you to the jail. We'll take you to mm -hmm. county if you don't say it. We're mm -hmm. going to let you out in an hour. But if you don't say it, you get to go to the actual fucking Really? County. Is it true? It is. Yeah, it's very true. Yeah. What's well, what's the right way? Because uh, if I will go, to, <laughs> I should learn. Either, either. If you're Arkansas. in Arkansas, Arkansas, Arkansas. If you're yeah. not, you can say Arkansas. No one fucking cares. Surprisingly, I say it all the time, and like no one. I just really say Ar the Arkansas. Yeah. Nicole, are you from Arkansas? Well, yeah. it's like people saying Illinois, <laughs> and it's Illinois. Or Illinois, and we know it's Illinois. Fucking um, what was it? Uh, hey Edgar, there's Kansas, and then there's our Kansas, which is Arkansas. Well, I gotta take off for a little bit, you guys. I gotta Hi. go meet up with my brother. Oh, okay, Fred. Walk him back. What's up, bud? Th thanks so much for your conversation oh, no, with us. Here, I'm gonna uh. Shit. Yeah, there's not enough people to fucking stalk me to death. I'm gonna give you my email. Nicole, don't fuck me. Okay, I'm gonna spam your inbox. You're gonna get 30,000 naked photos of my ass. And it's gonna be a slideshow, so you gotta print them all out and you can play it. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, by the way, how old are you? 23. Wow. Do you have education? Yeah, 23. Say what? Do you have education? Um, education. Oh, I have a little bit of college, but I dropped out. Uh, I didn't like that course. Uh, are you working? Do you work? Yeah. Ooh. I work, I base, I renovate houses on the side, and then I work at a vape shop full time. Wave oh, shop. Shit, you're uh. never gonna you're never gonna pass if you keep working fucking hard labor. You're just gonna get I understand built. That. It's part of it's part of the uh deal of living here. Basically oh, Sucks basically, about the hands. God bless you. It does, dude. That I've man already got hands work. Are man hands. Hands. Yeah. Man, there, there, man there's hands no way around hands. it. Yeah. That's okay. I'm but, I've, I'm no I've got no Hey you, you you get a you get a but hey. God Nail bless you. Up, it's a little hard to make that look a little more feminine, huh? I mean, come on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, like, I, I want to quit painting houses, but whenever uh, someone moves out of the building for our landlord, we go in, clean it up, paint it, remodel it, and do all that stuff. And so then, in turn, we charge her for the supplies to take off our rent, and so then we don't have to pay rent for the Well, that's pretty dope. So it pays off in the end. Uh, like for when we did one recently, we had about a three thousand dollar reno. Um, now, what's like your what's your rent per month? 
It's like seven fifty here. Eight hundred. That's oh, not too bad. So uh, you got like four months. And what much. salary? What salary for rent? Yeah, we got like four or five months, and then just because of the extra stuff that we had put into it that we didn't charge her, we we got a couple months added onto that. But well, that's fucking awesome. You got almost a year for that last renovation. I'm happy for to hear. one reno. Yeah. yeah, I know that's fucking dope. You know, me and my brother, uh, aside from doing um, roofing, we do a lot of demo work and renovation, and we only got paid. Like fifteen hundred bucks to demo an entire house, take it down to the studs. Dang. And we had to go all the way to the floor decking too, which was rotted, and some of it we had to pull out and put new down. Yeah, mm -hmm. fifteen hundred bucks. Mind you, it was three days, but still. That's not enough. No. That's not enough. Anyways, to do I gotta go meet my brother. You guys. You got my email, Igor. Hit me up. Thanks. A, thanks phone. a lot. Yes. Nicole, if you want to hit me up, you can do it too. I'm going to send you a fucking flip book of my ass. <laughs> and by the way, Nicole, can you say me a few words? Can you help me? Hmm. What's the points of growth to improve my English? How can I improve my English in my level right now? I understand half of uh, what you with Fred said. Okay. Um, the biggest tip I could offer would be, um, so English is big on like being able to mix around. It's not a very orderly language. You can arrange the same sentence and it could mean the same thing. Um, so like run Billy or Billy runs, you know, like they're, they both mean the same thing, just two different contexts of, of the words. Uh, that would be my biggest tip. Try to pick up on adjectives and nouns uh, rather than their order um, and, and how they go in order. Because I've, that was the big thing that tripped me up on learning other languages, was getting words in order and remembering how those words in order go to mean certain things. Because I'm so used to English. Um, but that would be my biggest tip. Uh, sh sh Second, should I mix it? Yeah, like try try getting better into like um, remembering like certain adjectives that can go in different places, um, like combinatorics. Yeah, that'd be my biggest tip. Um, I, I'm not I'm not really too sure to be honest. Your English isn't really too bad. Um, that that would be the the biggest one in my opinion. I I understand some basics, I understand basic topics, mm -hmm. but I don't understand like a mechanics, uh, like a physics uh, inside of it. Yeah. Um, articulation, uh, like like recognizing uh, certain articulation patterns for words, uh, is a is a big one, um, because like, say. You have, you know, um, how are you all? You could also do, how are y'all? That's a southern one. Oh. Kind of combine mm -hmm. two words. Um, and so then you have to be able to be like, y'all, there's a, a certain articulation. Link it to words. words. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, English is big on that one, especially in different areas of the states. It's different. So different, you know, parts of the states is um, that would be, a, 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 I think, a really big improvement. Thanks a lot. It uh, it really will help me because right now I think about my English that I'm, what's the verb? Uh, I'm, I'm not going. I'm I'm not going up. I'm not going uh, forward. I'm not going forward, and I'm like a stunk in one place. You're just kind of sitting there, just kind of stagnant. Yes, plateau. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, stagnant would also be a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, stagnant just means like standing still. Stagnation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what 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 part of the world are you from? I'm from Russia. It is uh, it is a country <laughs> for mm -hmm. before it was Soviet Union, and right now mm -hmm. I'm. Uh, 
on Saint Petersburg. Saint Petersburg, do you know this uh, city? I do know where Saint Petersburg is. Yes, that's really cool. Um, and especially cause, like I tried learning Russian once. Okay, can I help and, you? Yeah, actually. Um, let's see if I like. I did it like in high school, so fuck. You can ask uh, questions about Russian, and I will help you with it because I'm I'm good in in Russian. Yeah, um, the biggest thing that kept tripping me up in every language is always the gender pronouns. Like, it's always just remembering which ones are for which. Um, like, I, I can remember the generalized term for the word, but say you know you're. Uh, there's a feminine way to say it that that you know I, I just can't remember it and so then i sound like a complete foreigner <laughs> mm -hmm. um, about gender mm -hmm. in russia didn't do you know endings of uh, word not anymore it's been so long since i've tried to learn russian but i want to try and learn it again in russian language we have different endings in english language for example and is uh, noun ending it is uh, one more word yes and uh, in it is ending of the word yes mm -hmm. and in russian language for example we have we have one word for example bright bright it is uh, take infinitive okay. infinitive if uh, i will say like a uh, male in past time it will be brawl okay Bra brawl but okay. if i will create gender female need to do plus a a ending it it will be brala okay brawl brala Bra and okay. it, it works for every word if you want to create uh, female gender, you should you should do plus uh, multiplication uh, <laughs> a a sound. Yes. Okay. So it's it's similar to Spanish how they have different endings for the for the for the different gender pronouns. Okay. I don't know. Is it right or not? Uh, in English language, I wrote brala. How, how to spell it? Brala, yes, Brawl is uh, male and Brala is female and it works for every word. For example, Bijal, it means uh, ran. Bijal. 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 Bijala will be for female. Bijala. So like yes. that was like a, like a running context. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and it is and uh, only different. That's all. So like you were saying, it applies for every word. So like, say if I was asking uh, someone to like, um... oh god, I had, I had a question. I if you to, like, ask if you will ask a girl, you should use a. It is a rule, but in a rule we have some expectation, but. Uh, it is, uh, but in 90, 95 percent of uh, variables, uh, we can uh, use this rule. Okay, that helps a lot, actually, because that's what tripped me up. Um, was just remembering that. Okay. Okay. Um, the next one would be the Cyrillic alphabet. D does it? Would it help to learn the Cyrillic alphabet to understand reading Russian? Okay. Essentially, like, is there? Okay. I mean, could could okay. you get away with just remembering the words? Essentially. Okay. Words. Uh, you, you can. You you want to? Do you want to learn words? Uh, no. Do you want to learn alphabet? No. Of course. Okay. Ah. I wrote. Ah. Ah. For example. Arbus, arbus. It is arbus. watermelon. Okay. For a, a arbus, watermelon. Arbus. 
Б. Б. Блин. Панкейк. Yes, it is pancake. It is famous uh, Russian food. One moment. Pancake. B. Б. Б. Блин. 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 Б. 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 Окей. В. 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 Like uh, English. V. v. Like the regular V. Yes, yes. Okay. And. Вода. Look. <laughs> Вода. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. А Б В Г В Г. Г. Город. Yeah. Город. Город. It is city. Okay. Next. Uh, Д. Дерево. Дерево is tree. Okay. Like there. Uh, look. For example, in English language, you use the like a d d d. But in the Russian language, you should use your tongue to your teeth. D d d d harder the. hard sound. A bit more of a harder sounding D. Uh, the. The, 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 the. You should uh, touch your tongue to your... This teeth. The. Yeah, to... mm -hmm. Yes. The. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I will speak... Dereva. If I will... S yes, correct. If I will say Dereva in uh, English accent, it will be Dereva. But Dereva. But if I will say in uh, Russian accent, it will be Dereva. It is three. Next. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh... One moment. Yeah. It is not E. For example, my name is Yegor. In in English language, it will be Igor, but in Russian, Yegor. Mm -hmm. It is more like a this sound. Like a, yeah. Like a ye. Yes. Okay. Oh, one more <laughs> interesting war. Um, interesting. It is yo. It is like yo. It is like yo. But there's a little bit of an R sound at the end, like your. Y yes, or... like a your. Yes, yes, exactly. Yo. Yo, and for example, we will use hedgehog. It will be Yosh. Okay. Yosh is hedgehog. Yosh. <laughs> Interesting word. I am, like, actually really intrigued right now. N a, B, V, G, D, E, Y, O, Z. Let's 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 repeat from uh, beginning to repeat it. There's A, B, V, G, Z, E, Y, Y, and then Y. 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 Okay. Good. 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 Nice. Right now, right now, you did it all correct. Believe it or not, that's the first time I've ever gotten like the first eight letters of the Shilly uh, alphabet all right. After okay, super. It. Next word will be <laughs> ж. Ж. It is like uh, in Francais language, uh, je, je Francais, and uh, something else. Uh, ж. Yeah. For ж will be. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> will be not good word called жопа. Uh, it means uh, ass. Okay. <laughs> okay. Жопа. <laughs> In not good. Uh, it is like a really. Uh, it is not like a something 
like a bat. Batuk, yes, it is really s. Like more of an insult type of ass. It is a root word, a root, a root for s. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's not like the word for buttocks. Like yes, 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 yes. Another. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Z. Z. Like a Z in English. And will be zont. Zont is umbrella. Zont. Zont. Mm -hmm. E. Next will be E. This like a E in English. Sounds. E. Yes. E. E, 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 E. It is uh, so hard to create a word, but one moment need to think about it. What's no the easy word? E. Do you know Willow? Willow, like a from Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we have a word Eva. Eva, it is three. Willow. Eva. Yes. Okay. And next will be Y. Y. Uh, yeah. Nicole is right now. Oh, hello, said said fast. It is a Russian language, but we we will end it soon. Last word. Y. Nicole is nobody. That's who Nicole is. For is absolutely nobody. You don't get laid. I can if Sad I interrupts you, you can just laid. mute his ass. He's talk. a very trolly person. Oh. You're a faggot. Yeah, eat my dick, Sad. <laughs> oh, you do that yourself. One moment, I will Why go to the toilet. One moment. You suck dick. What are you showing me? There we go. All the way back up. I want to hear the slurs in your voice. Well, I'm going to leave, I guess. All right, well, bye then. Listen to the way you talk. Like, you sound gay as shit, dude. You sound okay. like you don't get any pussy at all. I mean, says the one who sits in his basement all the time. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you're doing on here in the first place, but no, that's you're clearly a good... you're clearly sad and depressed because you're chugging a whole bottle by yourself. You're clearly sad and depressed. Like, don't talk to me, dude. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Nicole? Let's do one more word for Y. It is yogurt. Do you know what is yogurt? Yeah. Yes. I love yogurt. It is ex exactly the same for pronunciation and uh, but uh, uh, R R will be more R. Okay, so yes. like yogurt, like a little bit more on the R at the end, or yogurt. Mm -hmm. Yogurt. Okay, good. Next, uh, we did half of it. 
Йогурт Абвегда Йожи З. Йожи З. И кратко К. Hey, Rod. Hello, Rod. Welcome to Srilic Hour. He is learning Russian. Uh, your mic is not on. So, K. K. It's red, red t-shirt right over there. Oh, hello. Oh, is it? It is. I just yeah. noticed that. <laughs> K. But is Karova. For example, it is cow. Cow. Animal. Cow. Karova. Karova. Can you say cow? Cow. Yes. Cow in English is uh, in Russian Karova. Yeah, but I say cow. I don't say cow. Cow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. For uh. Cow. For for cows in Swedish, it's milk cow. Milk cow. Uh -huh. Milk cow. What Pac-Man? Because there's two different types of cows. There's the brown and white cows, and so for regular white cows, it's milk cow. Where Where are you from, Nico? I'm from I'm from Saint Petersburg. It is Russia. Somewhere Russia? Yes, Russia. Absolutely right. Next word will be L, letter L, word ложка. Ложка. Yes, it is spoon. Did I write it correct? Spoon, it is a tool for uh, eating. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, okay. Yeah, your English is good. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Next. Hard word, but uh, really sweet. M. Мороженое. Ice cream. I really like your shirt, Rod. Мороженое? shirt. I really like it. That, did I say that right? Мороженое? Мороженое. Yes, you said it uh, correct. Мороженое. Okay. It's, it's red t-shirt. It just has a regular old M sound. I know, man. That thing probably, like, not cheap. Get, get your red t-shirt. Sure. Right. Yeah, it's red, red T-shirt. Oh. Just oh. On. It is on. he. Okay. So when you pronounce the O, it's not so much like the English O's. It's more of like a. It is O. Like o sound like a like O. Yes. Okay. In in. Uh... I, I don't know <laughs> what I wanted to say. Okay, next, if you want to create female, will be ona. You will uh, you will add uh, ending of a. Okay, like you were saying. Earlier. Yes, yes. Cool. Next, can you s say it without me? It is n n n. n. Nora? Naga. Naga. Yeah. Yes, it is... Uh, In Naga. Naga. Naga is... Uh, is leg. The black cat? Oh, the leg. Oh, leg. I thought you were saying a black person. Naga. <laughs> we have one more word, by the way, about black person. We have letter K, K, K. And we have word Kniga. <laughs> What's the word? Kniga. Kniga. That's where I've heard it from. <laughs> it is book. That's what that means. I've heard that before and I was like, what, what does that even mean? What is that word? <laughs> So that, that black person? It is not black person. It is. It sounds like a black person, but uh, k kniga, kniga. Yeah. Well, what does it mean? It is book. Oh. So if if I go to a black person and go kniga, <laughs> hey, 
You're talking a lot. Oh. Hey, yeah, you, <laughs> hey, you have a Kniga in your <laughs> hands. <laughs> 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 I shouldn't do that here where I live. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and Opa Papa. Next letter is P. P. Looks like a high. Потребитель. Customer. Потребитель. Потребитель. Yes. Потребитель. Think, is it difficult for an English person to learn Russian? Yes, uh, kind of. Yeah. A little. I tried once before. Rod and a, I mean, a friend got, like, basically we learned the Cyrillic alphabet, and then we had kind of started working on words, uh, but we got so lost. Yeah. Is what what about for Russians learning English? Is that easy or or difficult? For me to learn English, uh, I I started to learn English like a hard hard working on my English uh, 13, 13 January two thousand eighteen. When two thousand eighteen? Eighteen, yes, uh, two o one eight. What, one year? One year ago, yes, and right now I have uh, this level. Before I, ha before I has uh, from school kind of uh, 100 to 200 words in my memory, but uh, right now I have maybe 6,000 yeah, or something else. Okay. Do you know Tagalog? It's Filipino language. Filipino. Uh, is it question for me? Yeah, it's a question for you. And what's the question again? Can you repeat? Do you know Tagalog, which is a Filipino language? No, I don't know. Oh, I'm just wondering. Okay. Next word and le next letter is hard letter for foreigners need to be more attentiveness, need to have more attentiveness right now. R. 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 Like a, a R. like a roar of the lion. R. 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 Yes, yes. More. Uh, your tongue should. Uh, you have soft pel, uh, soft pellet or soft pellet. Yes. What is your name? Yeah. Like in the back of your throat? Yes, yes, yes. You, you, you have a soft pellet. So. What is your name, yeah? Uh, Doris, hey, don't Hitler. Be a... Doris, don't be a cunt. <laughs> what is your name? You're me, Doris, you like the me, word. Me, Doris. What is your name? You Doris. name. Yeah. I like the word knigger. Wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> I knew as soon as more people were going to start camming up, this was going to get harder. <laughs> what was going on? Jesus. Learning Russian. What is your name? My name is Igor, if you are asking me. You, you, Igor, me, Doris, okay? Your name is Doris, yes. I... Me, Doris, you, Igor, you, Igor, okay? I, I understood. I understood. understand. Okay, good. Guten Tag. Okay. Is <laughs> Russian? Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, man. <laughs> it is learning, uh, introducing you. Sukablet. <laughs> it is some of the sw swear words in the Russian language. Do you do you speak Poland? Poland. Poland. Do you speak? Yes, Pajonku. Oh. mi huya. Uh, he said, uh, "Show, uh, show, uh, di sh show me, sh 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 show deep." Czech, Czech, pokaż mi who ya i ya ya. Yo, Doris, how do you know fucking Polish? You can't. Nigga, I work in a building, so I work with the Jambos. And do they speak Polish around you? I learned a bit of Polish, yeah. Igor, hell, Czech, kochan ya, pokaż mi who ya i ya ya. Czech, I don't know. I don't know. I said. Uh, 
I said, hello, sweetheart, show me your cock and balls. What is cucumber? Uh, cock is dick, so. Ah, okay. But also. Is it joking or is it a real talk? No, that's real talk. But I can also <laughs> say, just go hang up. Because me tits gear, chipka, which means, hello, sweetheart, show me your tits and fanny. He said, like, uh, show me your boots. Uh, boobies, boobies, big boot, boobies. Boot this, yes. But you know, in English, when we, Igor, I'll teach you some English right now. When we say boobies in English, you say boobies. Like, you have to say it in an accent for it to sound. Hey, so you'll be like, he said, show me your boobies. Okay, what kind of I, slang do you know? Because this word I know, and uh, I need to improve. What do you recommend to me, my dear guru? Geezer. Say, I'm a geezer. I'm a fridge freezer. I'm a Bacardi breezer. I'm a lemon don't. squeezer. I'm the Ebenezer. Uh, yeah, if, I, if I'd seen the guy's face, I might remember. I'm terrible it, from it, like, I've got to make a phone call, man. Um, is it rhyming? I, yeah, to be honest with you, I don't. This one? If it was a like a blue slush flavor, it might have been the. Um... Turn off your mic. Um... He wear off his um, headphones and he can't yeah, hear us. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm for a second. Yeah, yeah Dor like... Doris is a geezer oh, no, from yeah, London. Yeah, uh huh. And where from a road you have Ferrari or oh, something? Gotta remember some random Belfast. dude who I was talking about, or some random juice dude, line you know with Belfast? like four days ago. Of course, the fuck I'm gonna remember that. In Northern Ireland. <laughs> and then I forgot I didn't work you today. <laughs> okay, let's do. Literally, everybody forgot I worked. I don't work today. My mom, my coworkers. Mm. Ireland. Wow. Ireland is uh, really uh, colorful and uh, like New Zealand country. Yeah, yeah, would they? Uh, yeah. It is uh, maybe stereotype mean uh, stereotype thought about it, but uh, I looked at picture and wow, it is really interesting place. So many landscapes of uh, colorful places. Yeah, look up, look up this on Google. Mm. It's hexagonal rocks. That's in Northern Ireland. Giant. One moment. It is one o'clock. I think I'm gonna go out in the garage and keep working on my garage today. I got some work to do on my workbench before I'm finished with that. You are going away? Okay, let's learn last words and we will finish. I I watched Rod. I I I googled giant causeway. It is uh, like a big rocks uh, big rocks uh, rock steps. They're hexagonal shit. Nice place. Yes. And right now last word r is letter and word Rika. 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 Una, we have a uh, song in Russia, famous. Ты неси меня река. Та -ра -та -ра -та -та -та. Uh, Ты неси меня река. It is uh, some of the. If you will hear it, you will know it. And uh, for. Uh, Russian or translation translation will be Rika is river Rika yes, and R should be like you are really strong man and you work hard for 18 or 20 hours and you should it R. So there's kind of like a grunt kind of coming out of the back. Yes it's more uh, like a Rika mm -hmm. oh. I, I don't think I could do that Without like making it sound like I'm dying. Eric <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like I can't. I can't get that. Try to say it again. 
Rika. Yeah, see, like, I can't get that. Ah, okay. Rika. Rika. I, I can get the R roll with my tongue, like Rika. R it should trill. R R like you are doing vibration. Mm -hmm. Or, for, for, for example. Huh? Not, not vibration. Vibration. Vibration, yes. And uh, do you know sound of uh, what the city city bird uh, pigeon? Yes, do you know sound of pigeon? Oh. Yes, oh. yes, yes. And here, if you will do without uh, this, uh, you uh, without li lips, yes, you will, uh, you will, you will taste it. You will taste this sound. All right. Okay. Uh, nice lesson. <laughs> Thanks so much for uh, students. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually really uh, like really appreciate you walking me through that. Okay. Like, me and my friend learned it, and yeah, we started trying to like remember what different words were, and then we just got so lost without like someone who actually Yo, Nicole. spoke Russian. You know, if you shake an imaginary salt shaker over your tongue, you taste salt. Hey, Fred, you get my thirty thousand copy flip book yet? <laughs> I'm not printing out 30,000 fucking pages, and I'm I got the email, you joke. asshole. <laughs> I'm not falling for that joke. Ah. Yeah, don't you like salt and pepper, though? I, I liked them in uh, Blue's Clues. <laughs> can I ask question, one question? Bro, we're not, we're not in a do classroom. You, you can ask questions anytime. Uh, do, you know, do you know courses of uh, for artists artists like you are actor for actors for actors on internet free courses in english because i know russian courses but uh, i want to learn something in english it will be really helpful to me do you know something maybe resources uh, or websites or maybe youtube channels uh, or something else about it there is a lady that speaks Russian fluently that also does American and she uh, does both and teaches you how to say it. Yeah, I think it might be casting Cali Pro. I think that might be it. Isn't that the lady that does it? Yeah. Okay. Well, casting called Pro is like for actors and like that. That's a lady that does it, though, isn't it? She leads you through how to say those things. Thanks so much. Well, fuck, right. I don't know either, buddy. So, what racing team are you on, Rod? I just got the t-shirt. I don't even like Ferrari cars. I just like the t-shirt. I just noticed you have an AMD logo on your sh on your sleeves oh. that have the same Ferrari colors. Oh my god. I gotta get rid of that. Jeez. You know what? AMD <laughs> works me. like... AMD so, works like gangbusters until it doesn't work anymore. Ugh. Okay, guys, I gotta go. Thanks so much for everybody who was... Uh, thanks so much for conversation. It was really interesting to know hey. Fred, Rod, and uh, Nicole. Thanks. Thank you for the. Uh, you learn the, the, Thank you for hanging out, dude. We appreciate it. Yeah, Edgar. I was gonna say one of uh, the like the quickest ways one of my friends learned Swedish was literally just by being around Swedish people. Like he just went to Sweden and just started hanging around, and then was just like picking up on the little cues of what they were talking about, and you know what they were looking at, shit like that. Yeah, and he kind of just started on point uh, like a story on point. I'm gonna put that money like a card. Um, that kind of helped me with Swedish a little bit when I visited Sweden. I picked up quite a bit just from being around people. Um, and so that might be a, a, a good way to like kind of learn English as well. Just like dive into English. Full immersion. English. Yeah, full immersion usually is the, like the quickest way to learn English, but might not be the most like permanent. Well, Swedish, Swedish. Oh, yeah, I, I did it with Swedish. Uh, I just went thanks. full on immersion and just like went over there. And we can use it for English too. Hmm? It works for practically any language or culture. Thanks. 
Have a nice Maybe day. Maybe not culture, but definitely language. Bye, Igor. You have a Bye, good one. dude. See you. Bye. I like that guy. He yeah, is that, that adorable. Was really he was just a young guy. Well, he's your age, so you're a young girl. It's me. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much.